can see what an old time general merchandise store looked like in the town of Franklinton, which has now turned a centrally old building into the town museum there. And you can also see a large variety of homemade quilts. Dave McNamara takes us to the D.A. Varnado Museum in the heart of Louisiana. This two-story brick building has stood on the corner of Pearl and Cleveland Streets in downtown Franklinton since 1908. It sold almost everything a person needed, from groceries to clothing to farm equipment. It was always a general merchandise store. It was closed down in the 1980s. In the 90s, a group of locals raised money to purchase the old D.A. Varnado General Store and turn it into a museum. Why did you and other folks here in Franklinton feel like it was important to save this old dilapidated, long-closed store building? We thought the architecture was lovely. We thought it was something that was worth saving. And we were interested in the history of the town, and we thought this would be a good place to maintain that history. The display counters and tables, the shelving and bins for seeds and beans are still here. Even some of the merchandise remained unsold when the store shut down. And they would take the scoop and scoop out of these drawers and put it in the bag and put it on the old scales. They are original. Museum director Terry Seal and other volunteers give tours to visitors and school children. Older folks remember the merchandise from their home or grandparents' house. But the children find things they've never seen before, like a rotary dial phone. And one of the children was poking their finger into the holes, thinking that's the way you activated the phone. That it was a push button. They thought it was a push button. So when I showed them how you dialed it, they were... Oh, that's amazing. During January and February, the Varnado Store Museum has an extensive display of quilts. And this is a seam stitched on like a whole piece of fabric. There are newer styles and some that date back more than a century. They had to have them for the warmth. And now they don't do it much for the warmth. They do it because it's an art. I started sewing when I was in high school. I took home ec. Becky Creel is a serious quilter. I don't machine quilt. I just hand quilt. Creel shows me how she uses needle and thread to create a quilt one stitch at a time. And I actually stick my finger. Hopefully not enough to bring blood. You stick your finger on every single stitch? That helps me feel that the needle has come all the way through. So I have the top fabric, the batting, and the backing hooked together and then I pivot back up. You can see several of Creel's quilts and many others on display in the Varnado Store Museum. They are part of Franklinton's story of how people lived, worked, and shopped over the past century. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 Local First. For more in the D.A. Varnado Store Museum in Franklinton, log on to heartofluisiana.com.